Today's lesson, we are going to look at chemistry 1502, resonance structures is the topic for today. We are going to look at lesson 102. Let us start. Sometimes the molecules will be given in terms of condensed format. It's very important that we draw the Lewis structure of each so that we can see the movement of electrons and pi bonds. Now drawing a Lewis structure for this, we are going to have C, C, C. You can see that this is a methyl. Then we need then also have another methyl group. So in this case, how can you draw the resonance structure for this? We know that hydrogen will have two lone pairs. Then we identify the pi bond. You can see the pi bond is here. Then we are going to shift pi bond towards oxygen. We no longer have double bond. We no longer have pi bond. We only have a single bond. And then our oxygen will be electron rich and then our carbon it will have a positive charge so this is the resonance structure for this structure. so this is the resonance structure for this structure let us quickly draw a Lewis structure for this. We have a methyl. Since nitrogen, it has bonded only three times, so it has a pair of lone pair. Then we know that oxygen will have two pairs of lone pair. Now we look at the pi bond. Then this lone pairs will come here. Now, since nitrogen has lost the lone pairs, it will become positively charged. And then oxygen has gained lone pairs, it becomes negatively charged. So this is the resonance structure for this structure. Let us look at this one. Now, how do we actually know that this is the Lewis structure for this molecular formula? Now, we need to obey the octet rule. We must always obey the octet rule. We know that carbon is tetravalence, so it means it needs to bond four times. So we can see that it has bonded four times. Nitrogen, it always wants to bond three times to reach the octet state. Now, if you can count the number of electrons, we know that on the double bond, we have four electrons. So it's four, five, six, seven, eight. 
so nitrogen always bonds three times now looking at this carbon since we said it's a tetravalence it bonds four times then oxygen it always participate in double bonds bonding two times if you can count the number of electrons for this oxygen they will actually satisfy the octet root so that is the scale that we actually use to determine or to know how to draw this Lewis structure now let us look at the resonance structure for this molecular formula we start with this pi bond it will shift to oxygen and then this pair of lone pairs will actually want to move towards the pi bonds this direction so we are going to have and bear in mind that the resonance structures we should actually in put them inside brackets so we are going to have something like this and then Oxy, I mean nitrogen since it has lost the lone pairs it becomes positively charged then we close the bracket let us actually draw this Let us consider this one, then this is positively charged. How can you draw the resonance structure for this? So this lone pairs will move this direction. Remember we should respect the octet rule this will move to this carbon the pi bond will move to carbon so we are going to have something like this This will have a pair of lone pairs and then it will be negatively charged. We can continue to find another resonance structure for this. But that's it for this lesson video. This is Fahula SJ. Thank you very much.